Gang, gang, gang. All right. Listen up. Listen up. Not having it. Game Caviar Studios, you know what I'm doing. Bringing you another excellent video for this YouTube channel that's growing rapidly every day. Alpha Protocol. Tactical Espionage RPG. Is that what it said? Is that really what it said on there? Oh, the Espionage RPG. This comes from Sega and Obsidian Entertainment. This game has a wonderful, beautiful uh, uh, premise. All right, it's an action RPG. <clears throat> what you're doing is they take a lot of elements from third person shooters and they make them into an RPG. This has been done before, but the way this game went about doing it was a lot better. Okay, see right there, what I was doing was I was talking to this guy. He was like the leader, the boss, the, the head honcho. And uh, I'm a secret agent and I'm part of an outfit called Alpha Protocol. And they sent me around the world for different missions to do different things, to sabotage, get um, information, uh, talk to people, kill people, whatever, save people, whatever. They put me up in these nice safe houses. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm just going around a safe house so you can see exactly what it is. And I'll get into the meat and potatoes of this video in a minute, but I just want you to see that this game isn't the best graphic, graphic game, but uh, it's pretty good. It's not the worst either. There was a lot of technical things that held this game back. I played this game when it first came out and I traded it in after I beat it. I bought it again and had an update. I updated the game. It seems to play a whole lot better. The thing that irks me the most about this game, the thing that irks me the most is that a while ago, and this is before I traded the game in, they said that there will be no Alpha Protocol 2. Sure is a lot of security. Anybody who has played this game will not. Um, they, 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 they still cannot grasp onto that. I still can't grasp onto that. This game was amazing. You know. An amazing game. There is th the reason why they 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 scrapped the second game is because it came out and it was rust and it had a bunch of flaws and they said enough. We're not gonna make a second game because the first game sucked so bad and it got bad reviews and they got their feelings hurt. Instead of them saying, you know what, we took it on the chin on the first game, but we owe it to our customers and our fans to come back and make. A, a better game because the premise of the game is golden we just need to go through and take our time and execute on the technical aspects of the game but they didn't do that they 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 and, they, and i believe it was sega because i read a, a, an article that said obsidian still wants to make a a uh alpha protocol 2 so i'm guessing it was sega who pulled the plug on this game that's i mean you know sega is good for they known for making those good decisions, you know. You know, they, they've always have been. I'm being unbelievably sarcastic right now. But what I'm trying to get, the, the, the point that I'm trying to get is that these developers need to understand that if you have a good premise in a game and you know the game was rushed and it will be flawed from the beginning, what do you expect? Don't look at what the major companies are saying about the games. Look at what the fans are saying. Look at what the people are saying. People are saying, look, it's got some problems, but the game is solid. The the, the concept is good. Uh, the dialogue is good. The way you interact with people is, is good because they give you a certain amount of time to pick a choice, and that choice affects how that person will perceive you and, and how, they, how they interact with you in the future. You can go from being hated to, you know, all the way up to being you know, best friends kind of but it all depends on what decisions you make within that little bit of amount of time that they give you during the conversation you can also use other things like read dossiers and get information on people that you could use in in conversations and right here i'm trying to break this lock and i screwed up a bunch of times because i haven't done it in a while uh i'm kind of dusty but you know this game had a lot of good things in it and it just wasn't executed properly but it's definitely something that could be fixed through patches 
and something that can be polished and made into a better game if they had made a sequel. I'm saying this to you, Sega. Make a sequel for this game. You screwed up by saying that you that you weren't going to do it. And I think that it's really cowardly of you not to do it. And it's stupid. You're just saying that anytime you put out a game and it, it gets bad reviews, but you, you, I mean, it gets really bad reviews, even though the fans really like the game. But let's say the fans really like the game, but IGN and GameSpot gave it a bad reviews. Oh, you're going to get your feelings hurt. You're going to get butt hurt and you're going to quit. You guys are a bunch of quitters. I mean, I don't understand that. If you don't want to do it, then please pass it on to somebody else because this game is amazing. It has a cult following of people still play the game. It's people who haven't played the game that who have recently bought the game because it's so cheap there right now. It's like $10. They picked up the game. And they're like, I didn't buy this game because of what the review said about it. But this game is amazing. Those reviews are wrong. How can you close the door on a project like that? How can you say... You know what? The fans, the people who paid money for this game and who continuously buy this game and even people like me who had traded in the game and then bought it again. How can we you we could just say screw them? It's not about them. The people who actually dish out the money for it. It's not about them. It's about these ratings that we get because ratings put money in the bank. I understand that ratings can sway the the uh, the the decisions of a lot of consumers but at the same time in the case of this game it's a special case because you can look at any alpha protocol um forum and i'm gonna say the 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 game uh what is it game facts forum the game spot forum they the same thing now look it up and you can see people on there constantly they say you know what i just bought this game I'm mad that I skipped over it because the ratings were terrible, but this game is amazing. It, it has a little bit of issues, but it, overall, the game just needs some work. Make the second game. Make the second game. Make it good. Take your time. And make it great. This has the making. This 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 uh this title has the makings of being a very good two, three, or four game series on next gen consoles if they do it right all you have to do is do it right and that's all i'm saying and unfortunately that's the end of this video rant time is over i'm not having it in the game caviar studios like comment subscribe spread the word i'm thankful for all of the new subs that we've gotten on the channel 1000 subs by the end of this year we could totally do it thank you for watching and i'm out